Okay, so good afternoon once again. Let's continue our discussion on uh, on the test on this previous example here. So, for example, our study is about again comparative study on the satisfaction level of the university basketball students. So, on the on the previous video, uh, we look at the data wherein the the assumptions of for normality and the homogeneity of variance were met. So, it means that our data follows normal distribution par parametric test. That's why, as a researcher, we decided to use independent t-test. So, this, this is the previous result. So, let's try to run it again for the, uh, this is the effect size, so for the parametric test. So, in this video, we're going to assume that, let's so run, analyze, explore. We, we will test the uh, homogeneity, uh, the, the normality, and the and the homogeneity of variance. So again, so analyze descriptive statistics. Uh, we, we go to the explore, and then we reset this one. The satisfaction will go here for the dependent list, and the sex is for the factor list. Okay, and then we review the statistics: 95% confidence interval, the descriptives, and then for the plot. Uh, this is very important for the plot. Uh, we will do the histogram and then we will do the normality and then this is for the normality testing so guys if you don't uh, if you have not seen the previous video please look at the first video first because this is just a continuation from that video so the normality test here and then <clears throat> for the homogeneity of variances are going to use this portion here and then the untransform okay and then we press OK, and then the results will be generated. So in this case, from the previous example, the SIG value, so we have a, a guidelines here for the normality and the variances. So since the values are greater than, for the normality testing, since the significant values are greater than uh, 0 0.05, so again, since the value of since the sig value for the Kolmogorov Smirnov is greater than 0 0.05, so in this case 0 0.078 and 2.0. Hence, hence, we can say that the data follows the normal distribution and does not significantly differ from normal distribution. And then for the test of homogeneity of variance, uh, the sig value, the significant value is greater than 0 0.05, that's 0 0.132 here, so therefore we can say, or we can assume that the uh, variances for male and female uh, are equal. However, in some scenario, if this value, if any of these values here, the sig value, is less than 0 0.05, if any, not necessarily both, if any of these values, for example, the 0 0.078, if this value here is zero, less than 0 0.05, then the, the, this normality testing, we, we, we can say that the data does not, does not follow normal distribution. Although there are many, uh, there are still uh, other processes that we can do. We can, we can check for the outliers, we can check for, we can transform the data. But however, in the scope of this topic here, so we, we will only see here, we, we will only inspect the SIG value here. So, the 0 0.078 here, if this is less than 0 0.05, so we can say that the data does not follow normal distribution. Hence, we cannot use, hence, we cannot use independent t-test. Okay? So, the requirement of independent t-test is the test for normality and the test of, of a homogeneity variance should be good and okay and okay. If any of these values here, either this one, this one, or this one is less than 0 0.05 hence we cannot use we cannot use independent t-test so if we're going to take a look at our framework here in our statistical framework statistical framework so instead of independent t-test if we will not meet the assumption for parametric test we are going to use the man whitney test so in this video we, we, we will discuss the man whitney test how we're going to to do the man whitney test for your <coughs> for your uh, research paper. So, if, if, let's assume now, let's assume that in our analysis here, some of the values here will not uh, meet the assumption of normality. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to analyze using the man with the test? So, let's proceed to the analyze. 
and then non-parametric test, and then legacy analogs, and then this one. The independent samples. Two independent uh, samples. So click this one. And then, say, although this, the, the, the process is very similar with the uh, independent t-test. So, man Whitney, uh, satisfaction, and then for the test variable, the sex, for the grouping variable, and same, we have to define the groups. So, one here is for the male, and the group two is for the, for the females. And then we have to check the man Whitney, and then we, we will check this one. So, we can, we can also get, directly get the asymptotic, asymptotic only, but... Uh, in order for us to have a similar result, uh, I will be using the Monte Carlo test. Okay, so you can also do the exact exact test. Okay, so so for the Monte Carlo test, and then uncheck by default the man with the U test is checked, and then just press OK. Okay, if you press that OK, uh, press that OK there. So these are the result, the ranks, and then. This is the man Whitney test, okay? But before that, in when doing a non-parametric test, uh, the mean is uh, the median is much uh, important than the mean. So it is very important for us to to get the median first. So how to get the median? So you get to analyze, and then the tables, the custom tables here, and then you drag the sex here, and then so this is the sex here, and then the satisfaction here. Okay, so by default, the satisfaction, the, the statistic here is the mean. So we have to change that one to median. So how do we do that? So the statistics and then the mean. So we have to remove that one and then let's move. And then the median. You drag that median here. You can see. You can also drag the median, or you can you can click here the arrow, the median, and then apply to the selection. Then close and then median and then just press OK. So same with the mean in the independent t-test, the median here, we're going to take a look at the median. So the median for the male, male, the satisfaction is 5.40, so which is greater, and then the female is 5.0. So the satisfaction level for both male and female students uh, differs. So the question now is, does this uh, 5.40 and 5.0 differs uh, significantly differs from each other is there a significant difference so we have to use a, a statistical test for that and since we assume in this problem here that uh, the data will not met the assumption of for normal for parametric test that's why we will do the demand Whitney test so we have to copy this one here the table here so we have to paste that one in our in our uh, result here for the non-parametric. I will I, I, I will uh, I will upload this file. I will share this this document in the link below. So please check the the link below. So for the parametric test, this is the parametric test. And for in the third page, we will assume the non-parametric test. So this is now the median. So this is the result here. So the median. So five point uh, five point forty and then the five point zero. So if you're going to take a look at our, yeah, so 5.40, and then we, we only copy-paste the result of, of the man Whitney test. But in your paper, in your research paper, uh, make sure to, make sure to uh, change or make sure to edit the table here uh, to display only the necessary because it will take, uh, it will consume some space in your paper. So. Okay, so for the presentation purposes, we will display all of, the, of all of the data there. So this is the result. How are we going to analyze it? So this is very important. This is very important. How to analyze the data? So first is, we already know the median, the 5.4, and then we will now test if there is a significant difference in their satisfaction level. So where are we going to look? We're going to look at the asymptotic value here, the 0.0. .0. 0.0. So what is our guide? What what is the guidelines there? So we will we can all we can also use the guidelines that we had in the independent t test. So uh, man Whitney test Whitney Whitney U test. Okay. For the man we, we, we can also use this one. If the significance value significant value is greater than 0.05, the mean 
it means that the mean does not significantly differ from each other. If the sig value is less than 0 0.05, the mean significantly differs with each other. In our case here, the sig value here, the asymptotic sig value here is 0, 0.0, which is less than 0 0.05. Hence, we can say that the mean, no, no, the mean. So we have to change this one, the mean or the median. This is already the median because we will look at the median in non-parameter test. So the median significantly differs from each other. Okay? So, so we, all, we can already say, say that the median significantly differs from each other. But the next question is how big is, how big is that difference? So we're going to look at the effect size. So from the book of and uh, from the book of Andy Fields in Discovery Statistics using SPSS, um, he used the Rosenthal formula to convert the z-score into size effect to estimate the, the size effect. This is the formula here, the R, the, the value, and then the z-score. The z-score is here, negative 3.951. And then the n here, the n is the number of uh, number of cases that you have. So in this case, if we're going to take a look at our cases here, so we have uh, 385. So 385. So in this case, we have 385, and then we can compute the value of our R. The R here is 0. Uh, 0 0.20. So basically, it's the same with with the size effect in the independent p test. So how can, how are we going to conclude this? Okay. So, on average, on average, the satisfaction level on the basketball court of male, so we have to report the median. This is the median here, the 5.0 for the 5.40 for the male, is greater than. Why greater than? Because the satisfaction level for male is slightly greater than the female, with the median of 5.0. The difference was statistical significant. This is the man with me. This is the symbol for the man with me, you. And then we have to indicate the statistic. This portion here. That portion here. And then the Z. The Z is here. Negative 3.951. And the P value or the SIG value is less than 0 0.005 or 0 0.001 in this case. See, based from literatures, if, if the P a sig value is 0 0.00, uh, you have to include the one here, you have to put the one here. So less than 0 0.01, or if you want, we can replace this one as 0 0.05 in order to match from our guidelines. So, okay? So N represents a small size effect. The R is equal to 0 0.2. So what's the business implication here? So the business implication here is that um, there is a difference in satisfaction level. The satisfaction level of the male and female university students differ significantly on the basketball court with respect to the ring, the lightnings, so on and so forth. However, the effect is only small. If in your analysis the effect is large, if the R is greater than 0 0.5, then if you are the manager, you, you have to ask yourself, why is it that the <clears throat> that there is a very big difference on the satisfaction level of the male and female students. So probably other, uh, another study should, um, will, be, will be made, will, will be conducted to, to, to know the factors that will affect the, to, or to increase the satisfaction level for the female student. So in this case, for the coverage of our, for the coverage of our uh, discussion, we will only tackle up to this point. So during our in our classroom uh, classroom discussion, I will give you some data set, and you will have to follow how to how you will follow how to analyze. Uh, you will analyze if if the data data set data set will follow normal distribution or it will not. If you will do the parametric or non-parametric test. Okay, so see you. And then, okay, thank you.